Hey everybody, Awesome at G here, and today we're going to be playing some Skies of Arcadia Legends. Uh, I'm going to keep this right here for a minute because it's the first quiet part of the game where I can actually talk over. Um, this is a uh, turn-based RPG uh, that was originally released on the Dreamcast, and Skies of Arcadia Legends is the port on the GameCube. Uh, the only real difference between the original Dreamcast and the GameCube edition is the GameCube one has slightly altered graphics, uh, just a minor upgrade. Uh, the random encounters have been reduced, but the, uh, the experience you gain from them is increased to help compensate for the reduced number of fights you get in. And uh, there are additional discoveries in the game that you can make, uh, and we'll get into that later when we get to that point. But this is probably... It's probably going to make some people angry, but if if somebody was holding a gun to my head and told me that I had to name my my top RPG of all time, uh, I would probably have to say Skies of Arcadia Legends, like more so than Final Fantasy VI, which is saying a lot. So anyway, uh, let's get started. Um, I did a I started a Let's Play of this. Goodness years ago, uh, and I'm, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure I was playing it off the GameCube directly and not through an emulator, but, uh, yeah, I stopped it for some reason, and I can't remember why, I think I ran into recording problems, I don't know, but I stopped, and I want to start it again, because I love it, and I actually want to finish it, so let's do that, shall we?
Ah, the best dialogue in RPG history. Okay, so if you know RPGs, you know basic, uh, the basic commands. Run, items, uh, guard, attack, special attacks, uh, magic, which I don't have yet, and focus, which uh, charges up my bar there at the top. Your bar there at the top just indicates what kind of attacks you can use for special and magic, because uh, this one right here, you can barely tell, but it says over there on the side it uses seven. And then your magic, when you get some, will have the same requirement of using some of that bar at the top. Here goes. And I'm gonna start moving through the uh, the attack menu very rather rapidly. So unless I do anything specific, then I'll slow down and kind of explain what I'm doing. But in the beginning part of the game, it's just basically you attack all the time, so there's not really much to talk about. Huh, that was easy. And then the leveling up system works pretty much the same as most games. You have experience points that get you levels. Uh, you do have these magic colors that are dependent on the color of your weapon in the battle. Uh, if you've got the weapon equipped, you get more for that color. But the other person, people in your group also get some for that color, just not as much as you did. So like, Vice has a red weapon, and Ika has a green. So Ika gets more green than Vice does, but... And that's what actually unlocks your magic later on. So I've beaten this game probably three or four times. Actually, you know what? This is going to bother me. So I have the little map down there. I like mapping it out. I don't know why. Kind of OCD about that sometimes. back here? I do! Excellent! Oops. No! I'm just gonna move on. There's nothing else in here. Oh, there's boxes. 
<laughs> Just kidding. Hey, a back attack. Awesome. Yeah. something back there. Not even gonna help. Take this. <sighs> that was easy. Does this do anything? Holy cow, it does. That's awesome. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Now I feel like I'm shouting because there's no music. <laughs>
I love the music in this game too, man. Jeez. So, you kind of want your guys to spread out during this fight, like Ika and Vice. I don't want them to be near each other at all, but I can't control where they go. So, eh, here's hoping. Here so that's too close. They need to be further away, sideways from each other. Because his AoE attack is devastating if it hits both of us. Moons, give me strength. Now see, that might be far enough. Ha! It kind of shifted a little. Oh good. I have no idea what that leads up to. Oops. Moves, give me strength. That was a mistake. Okay, not so bad. That could have been much worse. Moves, give me strength.
Yay, I'm in control again. I always forget if there's stuff in here. I don't think there is. Okay. Open the door. This is someone's bedroom. Teach me how to steer the ship. No, I know how to do all this. Okay. Yay, I'm in control again. So you see how my compass is spinning right there? I can find a uh, discovery here. So anytime the compass spins crazy like that, you can get a discovery, which is this. There's like 124 discoveries or something crazy like that. And I will try to collect them all in this Let's Play. I did the first time I played, but... Uh, we're pretty hurting here. Oh, for real? Awesome. Oh wait, no, she has no MP. Ah, oh, I forgot it used MP too. Oh well. We'll be fine. These guys have some serious dodge skill, but they give they give really good experience. Is it over already? Actually, no. They don't give really good experience. They really give they give really good magic experience. Is what it is.
pretty sure. It doesn't matter. We'll figure it out eventually. We'll kill one of them. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's just do that. Here goes! Moons, give me strength! Yay, we're home! Nobody will ever figure out that the pirates live at Pirate Isle. Alright, 